crush all the mouth If you see me out of town, hope I'm all in now Lost my mind to this cup, it's in purple now For the store, they run out of spread a wow I don't feel good when I'm high, I can't touch the sky If I die let I night, know that I was high Cried so many nights, but said I was Everyone capitalized off the pandemic don't give him credit for that we all had decks coming uh we all had checks coming in and almost all stock went up at that time this is true um but he still tried you know as far as like the bot protection which we were complaining about and it's better to have that than versus somebody allegedly somebody's son using a company credit card making it worse for us even more you know that's a whole nother story you know what i mean but that's something that we can keep in mind too i don't want us to let that slip through the cracks because that lady just bowed out and just went out quietly um which i don't blame her um where are we at says devon says the born and raises if he didn't pass away the sbs wouldn't be the price they are now exactly, on the okay yeah, exactly yeah. and the same thing with a lot of those off whites yeah i mean but that's anything though man everybody even like and that's what I was, that's all i was trying to get across you know like i say like yeah they get good collabs but they've been put they've been put in these statuses of they can't be touched or nothing's better than them be, only because the creator have died but if off white was still here then he there would there would really be no difference between what he's doing what i'm on my ears doing yeah. it's just that Virgil's doing that little extra detail to let you know that it's a different shoe, you know? Exactly. Yeah, he's taking that extra uh limit. And Long B says, and Herbert and her son. Yeah, that's the person I was talking about where they would, you know, remember we covered that as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Devon says the worst fall-offs and sneaker collaboration union and Jerry Lorenzo. And that's what I was gonna compare. <laughs> man, that's like oh man, if Lorenzo come up in any conversation, man. If you got money for fear of God, then damn. <laughs> Cause this dude just fucking raping motherfuckers, you know. Yeah. I was gonna compare him to uh I'm my year. I'm gonna compare Lorenzo to uh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, like, I looked at he it charged you Louis Vuitton pricing down there. Yeah, for some plain Jane, like pale. I get the originality, and I get that it's a shoe from the ground up, coming from Adidas' perspective. You know. Yeah, but I'm but good. When you try to go switch that, no, I'm sorry, no. When it's coming from Nike, because he was with Nike first, now you want to go switch to Adidas and take the damn near the same shoe over there. Yeah. And then not, I was thinking more so if you look at the merch, super plain Jane, and they taxing for that too. For yeah, own. essentials is way better. I, I I fuck with essentials more than I fuck with the actual Fear of God brand. Yeah, well that Fear of God brand tax, bro. I mean essentials too. So yeah, but it's like still, I don't know. I don't I don't see it. Maybe I need to try it to give it a shot. Um, where we at real quick? Um, let's see where we at. Uh, Devon says the worst fault we read that one. Many of the kick says, while um on my gear we're sleeping on off white. Um says long beat says Nike hasn't been innovative in years. The fact that they thought they were playing the limited game would work forever is bad business. The economy is going into the garbage. Nike needs to wake up. This is true. One thing I think where they dropped the ball where they I mean, I understand why they raise prices, but I mean sun shoes you just had to leave alone. You know, that's where I feel with it. Hell, they are already taxing too much, in my opinion. Um, Devon says, you know what's crazy? If I'm my year kept releasing the same colorways like burgundies and blacks, people are gonna get tired of them. Exactly. You know, that's why I said that I know burgundy or maroonish, that's their color, that's their theme, but at the same time, you know, we do want to seem some slightly different. Now yeah, I keep it, I'm on my year should just do what they did and release. The one, two, three, four pack, and just did it in that in that same colorway. How they pretty much did everything up until they got to the fours for some odd reason, and that will have to go to all fucking purple. When clearly you guys were doing that, you know, like one, two, and three were damn near the same shoe. Yeah, and you guys got to the four and said, "Let's just do it all purple." Just stick to the same fucking theme that you guys are already on, and just 
pretty much literally just slap the color scheme from the threes, just incorporate that onto the fours. Then now, guess what? Close the doors. This is what I'm on my did for Jordan. We'll let our fucking legacy and our work speak for itself at this point, you know? Yeah, I'm very curious how the deal is structured because obviously they're doing it that way for a reason. They got to push out product. Um, I'm sure they got to probably, well, what, what, we've only seen what, up to the five? Well, no, I'm sorry. Actually, we've seen up to the Jordan, well, I can't even really remember the name. 17? The number, the Jordan 17. So clearly they have a deal that far out, you know? Yeah. Kind of crazy. Um, where we at? Let's see. Uh, Man with Kick says, Facts Divine. Uh, Long Beat says, Other brands have gotten bigger and people aren't dealing with Nike shenanigans anymore. Um, Divine Photo says, When John Donahoe allowed other brands like Asics, Saucony, New Balance to surpass them in sales by messing up relationships with retailers like Foot Locker. Yeah, remember he at one point had cut them off and then put them back. Yeah. Some stuff like they had that's a automatic money maker for you, you know. But yeah, and that's all cool for all these other brands. But do you really think that all these other brands are gonna stay in the spots they're in? No, nah, especially I mean, with ASIC. Especially, like I say, I'm gonna continue to argue this. ASICs won't be here this time next year. They won't be doing what they're doing. So yeah, go ahead and give them the shine they got now. Of course, and I'll let them have it. But I guarantee you, this time next year. Aces are gonna be right back to where they were. Where they originally doing. I mean, because they- only because Asics is a, is another option right now. But once people get tired of buying the same Asics, you know, then they're gonna, you know, just naturally, gradually, you'll see them slap finding their way back to Jordan. Yeah, possibly, especially with a new CEO in there. I'm very curious how it's gonna. And he's been working for quite some time. So, um, where we at, real quick says uh the monsters if people realize that they are other brands besides nike which is why nike is struggling in sales looks like we got doc in the building says salutes what up doc you yep. says nike jb just don't use good material says charge a premium so they're saying basically they charge premium prices for you know not so great premium products um Man with a kick says, same shoe, different companies. Come on now. Jerry shaking my head. Um, Mike Pango says, Jerry makes shit that only he looks good in. <laughs> I don't see anyone look good in his fear of God line. Uh, you can't be short. Uh, you can be short out of luck shape when uh, wearing his stuff. Uh, and see, Man with a kick says, dead ass, fa- uh, dead ass Mike Pango. And let's see, Devon says, I give Ye credit for pushing runners uh, get on the market. I mean, Ye definitely did his thing, but it's crazy how all that's going down. But uh, 